Welcome back. All right, we've moved into a new world. I was debating on what world to do. A part of me wanted to do the Magic Realm. A part of me wanted to do base game. But I got inspired and I went over into the Get Famous world of Del Sol Valley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to choose this, but honestly, I'm kind of happy. It, it pushes me out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm not a mid-century modern builder, but this starter home, I wanted to make mid-century modern. I wanted to really kind of focus on this being a build, a house from the 70s um, with its interior, its exterior, and I'm quite happy how this turned out. I really, I think the only thing I, I wish only thing I really wish for this build was if I had a little bit more budget. Because I would love to have swapped out a lot of the furniture for some of the furniture that came with Get Famous. Um, because there's like some really good swatches of uh, the couch that comes with this pack. Um, that is not the super fam like fabulous looking one, but the... The one that's mid-century modern. Very much decorated or designed after, like, 70s interior. So, uh, that's, like, the one thing I kind of wished I was able to do. But besides that, this build came out pretty awesome. There's a TV. There's a computer. Um, we have dining. It's a one bed, one bath. So, it definitely needs to be expanded. It's on a huge lot. So you're going to see me in a little bit um, move, I think, this house forward. And I create, like, a little fake house at the back. So it's, like, two houses on one lot. Um, it's one of the debug houses from this world. And I put it on there because there was... For a starter home on this lot, it's near impossible to fill this lot. These lots are massive. Um, so I wanted uh, to decorate a second kind of fake house in the back in the hopes that when you start on this lot, you can kind of pretend maybe you buy the lot behind you and you're expanding. So that's kind of my thought process to why I put a little bit of effort into creating this fake house behind this house because I want this to be kind of like run down a little bit like it is a house that's still very much from the 70s um and you know maybe the person purchasing this house is gonna renovate it but you're see you're seeing me try my darndest to put some of the pack items in here but it doesn't work out. I think I get a couple, but like, I don't get a lot. And it's really unfortunate, but uh, we can have a little better look here in a minute. Um, you're just going to see me doing a brief landscape. I wanted it to look overgrown. I wanted it to look kind of shaggy and not great, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is what this house ends up being um it is like a nineteen thousand dollar house so it is starter home and let's go have a quick little peek at what it actually looks like in game all right here we are at the starter home just to confirm yeah it's at 17 585 and i think it's like 19 was the value of the lot so it is starter home, perfect, one bed, one bath. Um, I'm going to start with, like, over here. So this is the fake house. I really wanted it to look like an actual house, but it is just fake. Nothing nothing is real. Um, and like I was saying, uh, my thought is, like, you buy this, and then when you get the money, you pretend, quotation marks, you, to buy this lot, and then you can expand. Because this is, it's just so big. For a starter home, that lot is huge. 
um, but I really went all out. I quite I tried to make it very similar. Um, but yeah, here is the actual start of home. Very seventies inspired. Um, I'm very happy with how this actually came out. Uh, so if we go in, there's like a little landing area here, uh, and if you go straight, it goes right into this very 70s kitchen. Um, I know in the speed build, I had better cabinets, but I needed to save money, so they got replaced. Uh, <laughs> but I, I love how this came out because it, I mean, I wasn't born in the 70s, but the house I lived in when I was young was made in the 70s. And this is that house, especially with that linoleum. And then we come over here. I do have the computer in the bedroom. It just fits the best. Um, but like I said, I wanted to have more money to like not have this bed. But I chose the most 70s looking bed I could in the base game. And then the bathroom here. We do get uh, a nice little retro sink. But... um. Only a tub. <laughs> this this house definitely needs renovations. Uh, but we come over here and we get to see that they really liked color. They write the person maybe that bought this liked yellow, especially with the yellow accents in these um, pieces here. So we got a couple of yellow couches, yellow dining room, just sprinkled throughout. And then this right here is like my pride and joy moment is just like the sunken living room. That is the most 70s thing I have ever, ever just witnessed in my life in a house. Um, and I did want to have a couple of skill building things besides the computer on this house. So there is a couple of gardening uh, pots up back here, but the patio is very empty in the back. Um, a lot of this landscape is debugged, so you do need, like, move objects on, uh, but for the most part, this is, a, like, a ready-made, good-to-go, let's-expand house, so I hope you enjoy it. It'll be up on my gallery, gallery D is T-U-B-A-E-E, and I kind of want to see if you do download this, um tag me back on the gallery if you upload it back and show me what kind of renovations you do to this because this is definitely a house that could use a nice little renovation um and with that though i will see you in the next video goodbye everyone